Hello everyone, this is the Technodog channel. Today in the video, we are going to compare two processors from different companies. These are the Intel Core i5-9600K and the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. The difference in their cost is about 30% if we take the lowest prices in the market. Let's see if there is the same difference in their performance and maybe there is no point in overpaying. The prices for comparison were taken for OEM versions of both processors. You can check out all prices by clicking on the links in the description under the video. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell. This motivates me to release even better videos more and more. And before we start the comparison, share your opinion in the comments about which processor is more powerful and better and why. I read all the comments and answer many of them. Grab a cup of tea, relax, and we're getting started. We're going to start our comparison with analyzing the most basic characteristics of the processors, their architecture, socket, and other important parameters. As our processors are representatives of two completely different companies, it is not surprising that they differ in many ways. Both processors have modern motherboard sockets installed and have the latest architecture. It is worth noting the difference in energy consumption. It is 95W for Intel and 65W for AMD. These parameters are important when buying cooling for your processor. The higher it is, the more powerful and expensive the cooler should be purchased so that the processor does not overheat and runs at full power. Now, let's talk about the characteristics which directly affect the processor power. There are a lot of differences, so our comparison is becoming more interesting. According to the characteristics of the processors, they are completely different and this significantly affects their performance. Consider all the parameters in more detail. Both processors have six physical cores, but the Intel processor does not have the hyper-threading technology and its six cores work on six threads. The AMD processor has the SMT technology and its six cores turn into 12 workflows, which increases performance in applications and games. The base frequency does not differ much. The processor from Intel has the benefit of only 100 MHz more. The difference in the maximum frequency for Turbo Boost is more significant. It is 4.6 GHz for 9600K and 4.2 GHz per core for the Ryzen 5 3600. Also, the AMD processor has a large cache volume of the second and third level. There is a significant difference in the manufacturing process of these processors. The AMD uses the most modern and efficient process technology at 7nm, while the Intel creates its processors using 14nm technology. This affects both the energy efficiency of the processors and their heat dissipation. But all these are just characteristics. These numbers don't really say much for many users. What is important is how these processors show themselves in gaming tests, and the number of FPS and its stability. So, let's move on to the gaming tests. We're going to test the games at the maximum graphics settings in order to unleash the full potential and load our processors to the maximum. The Intel is going to work with the ASUS ROG Maximus 11 Hero motherboards while the AMD will have the ASUS TUF Gaming X570 Plus installed. The video card is the top-end NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. The famous Assassin's Creed series of games becomes the first in our gaming tests. We've chosen the Origins game. Both processors show almost the same results in this because almost everything depends on the video card and the processors even have a margin in performance. The difference is noticeable only at the minimum FPS in full HD resolution. It is minimal and amounts to only 7%. As you remember, there is some difference in the processor prices. If you click on the links in the description under the video, you will notice that you might overpay 30% and get almost no difference in performance. Well, this is only the first game. Let's see how the processors show themselves further. The second test game will be the game from Rockstar, which has been exclusive for consoles for a long time. But when it began launching for the PC, many users complained about a large number of various bugs, poor optimization, 
difficulties with launching, and frequent crashes. At the moment, many of the bugs have already been fixed, and the game has become much more comfortable. But, at some points, there are still questions for optimization. As for the performance of our processors in Red Dead Redemption 2, it is high. Both processors show excellent FPS, both at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and at 4K. The difference between them is less than 1% in the minimum FPS in full HD resolution. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the next in our gaming test, which captivates many users with its plot and the beauty of the locations, especially with ultra-custom graphics and stable FPS. Our processors do an excellent job delivering more than 100 frames per second at full HD resolution. They are also quite stable and comfortable at 60 frames at 4K resolution. Thanks to this FPS, it is a pleasure to play such beautiful games. The users can feel the entire world and completely immerse themselves in the process. There are no differences in performance in this game. It works great both with the processor from AMD and the processor from Intel. Now, let's have a look at the re-release of the legendary game from the Resident Evil series. The fans have long loved her second part and everyone was waiting for its re-release. Although the new game differs from what it was before, it conveys the spirit of the entire series well, which both old users and those who are just getting to know the game liked. The game has high quality graphics and details as well as the optimization. We can say that based on the number of FPS, both processors produce huge frame rates per second in full HD resolution. They are 224 for the Ryzen, and 219 for the Intel Core. The difference is only 2%, but the processor from the blue team is leading in terms of the minimum frame, most likely due to its higher clock speed, both basic and in turbo boost. It would be a pleasure having any of these two processors to play Resident Evil 2. You will not encounter lags and freezes, of course, if you have the appropriate video card. The final game in the tests was a series of Metro games, where the main character comes to the surface and gets into the maelstrom of events. The plot is interesting and worth at least just going through the main quest. The game also made a splash with its high requirements for gaming hardware and its beautiful graphics, but as you can see, it did not cause big problems for our processors. The FPS in full HD resolution reaches almost 100 frames, and in 4K resolution, it consistently keeps it above 40 which allows you to play comfortably. In Metro Exodus, the Intel is ahead of the processor, although not by much, but the difference is still there. So, we've discussed all the characteristics of our processors, looked at how they showed themselves in games, and how many FPS they can give out in a particular game. Now, it's time to sum it up. First of all, I want to say about the difference in price of these processors. It has a place to be, because the manufacturers spend different finances on production of the processors, but the average gamer doesn't care about that. They can just take the processor that is cheaper, and at the same time receive almost the same performance, but if, in addition to games, you need it for work and applications for editing graphics or 3D modeling, then it is worth taking a closer look at the Intel processor, which, due to its higher frequency, will be faster in some applications. Share your opinion in the comments. I am very interested to read it. Which processor would you choose? That's all for now. Subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you like it, you can find out the prices of the processors from the video by clicking on the links in the description. Don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications of new releases. Thanks for watching. This is the Techno Dog channel. Bye.